in this video we will be discussing about QS configuration on Cisco ACI so QS uh, configuration you can apply on the EPG on the, the L3 out based on your the traffic direction so if you have a server connected via static EPG so you need to apply the QS uh, marking on the EPG and if you have uh, some traffic coming from L3 out and you want to do the QS marking that need to be applied on the L3 out the way of doing the configuration is different on the EPG and L3 out uh, we'll be discussing both of them in this video our main focus will be on the QS marking QS honoring we'll discuss on later video so here I have a EPG1 and EPG2 EPG1 which is connected to server 1 uh, on node 101 and the VLAN 100 so right now if I go to the CLI if I check so system internal QS VLAN all so it's a command so encapsulation 100 and uh, I don't have any QS marking so same way if I check on the leaf 103 where I have a server to connect it so let me go to the EPG2 So if uh, server 2 is connected the node 103 and the encapsulation is 101 so so we have encapsulation 101 and there is no QS marking at this moment so what we'll do we'll go to the EPG I'll go to EPG 1 and we'll go to policy general so here you can see there is an option for custom QS so we'll have to uh, define the custom QS so I already defined the CS5, CS3 and AF41 uh, so let, let me create a new one so I'll define uh, SSDS2 you have to plus for the DSCP to priority map now the priority there are three level uh, before the 401 release level 1 level 2 and level 3 uh, I'm using the level 3 you can use any of them uh, by default level 1 is a strict priority and level 2 and level 3 is a uh, weight in down robins so the DSCP range uh, I'll define from 0 to 63 so it's uh, basically uh, defining any type of uh, uh, the traffic uh, can be considered for this uh, marking the DSCP value QS value so in the DSCP target we'll define CS2 update submit and we'll have to submit here as well okay so I submit it now let me go to leaf 101 okay so here you can see for the encapsulation 100 um, for the range from 0 to 63 DSCP value is a 16 so which is equivalent to CS2 yeah. now on the second EPG we haven't done any marking yet so, I'll, so the same thing we'll have to do for the EPG2 we'll go to EPG2 policy general and the custom QS I'll call the CS5 which is which I had already created so same configuration only difference is target DSCP value would be the CS5 so now you can see for the encapsulation 101 the mark DSCP value is 40 which is equivalent to CS5 so now let's uh, discuss about how to apply the QS on the L3 out so in the L3 out if you want to apply the QS QS marking it has to be through contract only so what we'll have to do here is we'll have to create a contract um, which I had already created let me show you the contract 
configure the LC out QS. So here I have called the filter as a default filter but if you have a requirement to apply the QS on the specific traffic like UDP port or TCP port uh, accordingly you can define the filter. Uh, if you want to apply for all kind of the traffic just use the default filter. And then here there is a two option QS priority and target DSAP. You need to choose both of them. So QS priority is level 3 and the target DSAP value I'm using the CS5. Yeah. Um, now another thing is um, in the L3 out uh, to apply the QS, your VRF level must be the egress. So in L3 out one, the VRF which I have used is a VRF3. So if you go to the policy, the default mode is a ingress. So the policy control enforcement direction. Uh, yeah, so policy control enforcement direction is ingress. Uh, it has to be ingress uh, to apply the QS on the L3 out. There is no traffic impact uh, even if you are doing on uh, um, in the production environment. You can change it from ingress to egress and you can submit. You can go to the PGL out one and you can uh, apply the contract. So contract need to be applied at two direction. So basically the you need to apply on the two L3 out uh, like one one is the ingress and another is ingress. So in my scenario L3 out one is ingress from where the traffic is coming. So I'll uh, I apply this L3 out QS as a consumed contract and L3 out two which is the outside so there I applied the contract as a provider so we'll go to the EPG and see how to policy contract so yeah so here I have L3 three out QS contract that that was configured that's applied as a provided contract thank you for watching this video